Hi, I'm Dr. Scholes. Let's talk about prostate cancer. We've been going through a series of short videos about the management of teal, otherwise known as intermediate risk prostate cancer. In this video, we're going to cover the comparison of all the different treatment options for, for teal and uh, try and give you a little hierarchy, give you a kind of a number one, two, three, in terms of the options that I would be thinking of if I were in this situation. First, when you're talking about teal, you have to realize there are three subtypes. The, the teal subtype we divide at the PCRI into low, basic, and high. So when we talk about many options for treating teal, we're really talking about basic teal. Why is that? Well, low teal, those men are candidates for active surveillance. High teal are going to get better cure rates with combination therapy, that is a seed implant plus IMRT and a short course of hormone blockade. We call it TIP, or testosterone inactivating pharmaceuticals. For basic teal, we're really talking about having a broad selection of therapy amongst surgery, radiation therapy, which could be IMRT, proton therapy, SBRT, stereotactic body radiation, cyber knife, two different types of seed implants, and even primary hormone blockade or TIP, just TIP alone, which was very popular before radiation technology got a lot better. So the remainder of the video is really going to be talking about options for basic teal, comparing the pros and cons of all these different treatments. When you're looking at a comparison of treatments, I think you're looking basically at three things. Number one, cure rates. Which treatment has the best cure rate? That's easy. Well, we'll go through that. Number two, convenience and discomfort. If the cure rates are the same, you're going to want to go for the more convenient and less uncomfortable procedure. Number three, if cure rates are equal, you're going to want to go for the type of treatment that has the lowest incidence of long-term side effects. When we talk about long-term side effects, we're talking about side effects that never go away, irreversible side effects. So let's cover each of these three categories very briefly. When we look at cure rates, the uh, outcomes fall into three major categories. The best cure rates clearly come with radioactive seed implants. There are two types of radioactive seeds, temporary seeds and permanent seeds. Outcomes, as far as we know, are the same between those two. So when you're looking at cure rates, seed implants beat out all the other types of radiation and they certainly beat out TIP, which doesn't really cure the disease, it just puts it in remission. Now, if seed implant cure rates are superior to everything else, why would we even talk about just doing IMRT or SBRT uh, if we want to get optimal cure rates? The reason is, is that basic teal is pretty darn easy to cure. So even with treat treatments that may not have cure rates quite as high, the differences are very small. So the door is open then to consider other factors like side effects, convenience, and discomfort of therapy. So let's go move on and talk about that. Let's talk about discomfort, inconvenience. Again, I think seed implants come out near the top. Another type of beam radiation called SBRT, another name for it is cyber knife. These treatments, the seeds, the cyber knife, the SBRT are attractive because the duration of therapy is relatively short. Seed implants can be done in a day. SBRT or cyber knife, again, in a very short time period. Other treatments such as uh, IMRT and IMPT may require from five to nine weeks. So again, convenience and side effects put seed implants at the top of the list. Let's talk about long-term side effects. Since we're talking about very high cure rates with practically every therapy, except for hormone therapy, then long-term side effects may be the defining issue in terms of what's the best treatment for you. In this department, I believe probably hormone blockade or TIP is the least 
in terms of long-term side effects. In fact, there are relatively few long-term side effects with hormone blockade. Some men say that maybe their sex drive isn't as strong afterwards, but that's never really been well quantified. But pretty much everything in terms of side effects reverses when the hormone blockade is stopped. So hormone blockade comes out at the top of the list in terms of long-term side effects. And that's probably the only reason that hormone blockade is even on the list, since it doesn't cure the disease. It merely puts it in remission, and men have to be monitored afterwards, sort of along the style of active surveillance. Next down the list, after hormone blockade, is basically all the radiation treatment options. If you look at seed implants, SBRT, IMPT, the incidence of long-term side effects is going to be very similar, perhaps indistinguishable. Of course, it's important that you go to a quality center, but I'm assuming in these sorts of analyses that we're talking about comparing a quality center with a quality center if you're going with different treatments. So the radiation options are really pretty identical. There's some discussion about maybe seed implants causing a slight incidence of uh, increased urinary problems compared to the other radiation options, but that data is not really that clear. Coming up at the bottom of the list, once again, is surgery with higher incidence of impotence and a significant risk of incontinence, which is not really associated with the other radiation options. So to summarize, all of the treatments that we've discussed should be considered for people who have basic TL. In general, if you're looking at convenience and cure rates, seed implants seem to be ahead of the rest of the pack. If you're really serious about avoiding side effects at all costs, perhaps you might want to consider some hormone blockade, kick the ball down the field, push the day of decision a few years into advance, and, um, and just temporize with hormone therapy. What I generally recommend for patients that are in this situation is that they make a list of the different treatments and start drawing out the ones they clearly know that they don't want to do. Now you may be left with a, either one or a short list uh, when you're done with that process, but it's really avoiding bad things, since outcomes are generally quite good. It's avoiding bad things that it's your main goal when you're considering treatment for basic TEAL. Mm -hmm.